Hi there. Recently, I took part in the IOTA contest, Islands on the Air, and I rather ambitiously put up four different antennas uh, to take part in that contest. I was quite ambitious for somebody by themselves. It led to me thinking, if I had to choose one antenna to use as a field day antenna to try and do everything to work as many bands as possible which one would i choose and it led me to choose one i actually used that uh, that day which is the long end fed half wave the 133 foot end fed half wave to try and work as many bands as i can from 80 up to 10 meters I used this as an inverted V configuration during the contest. I replicated that, as we'll see in a second, when I went out in the field uh, a few weeks later. Uh, the antenna itself in this configuration will do very well as a bit of a cloud warmer on 80 and 40 metres for contacts less than a 1,000 miles or so. It'll be pretty strong there. It'll also do quite well on the higher bands where it'll basically send a lot of its best sort of current, its RF, strongest RF current, off the ends of the antenna, especially for 10, 12, 15 and 17 metres. So here we go. Here's me putting the antenna up in the field and a look at how well the antenna actually performs. All right, guys, so we're going to put the antenna up. I've got one leg going that side, one the other side, both about 20 metres long. So we'll have a full half wave on 80 metres. I should near enough give us all the other bands from 80 right up to 10 metres. And uh, the aim today is to test this out as a field day antenna and hopefully uh, make some contacts across some several HF bands. So I'm going to get this up in the air. The centrepiece will be about 11 metres. It's about 36 feet above the ground. Uh, the end fed half wave transformer will be at the far end over there. It'll be about a meter above the ground. Uh, the end opposite the transformer will have the end of the actual aerial itself, probably about 10 feet or three meters above the ground. And uh, the rest of it will be a uh, sort of insulator and some power cords. So we'll keep the end off the ground to minimize uh, ground losses as well. Okay, let's get this up in the air and let's uh, show you how it looks. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're pulling the, uh, the leg with the transformer. Oh, it's going to go about here. I use the 12.4 meter DX commander pole to kind of rough up the, the length I needed. Just using the rubber mallet just to lock this fence post in because electric fence post it is. Because um, we've had barely any rain in the UK. So I'm just attaching the uh, antenna to the 56 to 1. It's going to adjust the other side. Okay, so this is the end without the transformer. As you can tell from the thumping, I'm putting the there we are, guy rope in. Pulls in over slightly, but it's not terrible. <laughs> yeah, okay. Call that a done job. So there we are, there's the transformer. And there's the choke after 15 feet of coax. And there's about 50 feet of RG213. Another 10 feet or so of RG58 with another joiner. So there we go. Right, six, I'll look at the meter next time, but you sound like five and nine, Sam. Paul Sani is Mike Seven, Oscar Golf Charlie. Operator name Stephen. Uh, we're in Carlisle, Cumbria, Tim QSL. And uh, Germany 5, Tango Mike, uh, portable, thank you, 59. Uh, up and down a bit, Tim, uh, but five and seven on the peak. Yeah, yeah, you're about five and four, five and five here. Yeah. Gold 5, uh, Tango Mike slash portable, very good afternoon. We give you a three by three, three by three, Tim QSL. Gold 5, Tango Mike, portable. G5 Tango Mike uh, uh, Portable U59 over. Yeah, Golf uh, 5 uh, GM slash Portable U55 10 55, okay? Okay, thank you. You are 59, thank you. Good luck, Super 3. Ah, Germany 5 Tango BC, okay? Ah, Germany 5 Tango BC, okay? Ah, Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, good afternoon, Tim. You are 59 plus. 59 plus, you're in northern part of Germany. Oh, five. Uh, Tango Mike. This is Echo Whiskey 7 Lima Sugar. Uh, my report to station 5 by 8. A G5 TM QRZ. Uh, G5 TM listening. Uh, G5 TM listening. Uh, go 
Hi, Tango Mike. Uh, this is Golf Whiskey Zero Radio Mike Bravo. My name is Steel Sierra Tango Uniform, and uh, I'm in Portelli, North Wales. Uh, you're 59 plus 10. Uh, give us up. So the eagle-eyed amongst you may notice that we didn't actually use 80 metres uh, because I packed down before really the night set in. But uh, during the IOTA contest, 80 metres did really, really well. As you can see here, I made over 60 contacts around Europe and the UK. It's basically a cloud warmer on 80 and similarly on 40 metres too. On the higher bands, we see some useful gains, 10, 12, 15 and to a degree 17 off the ends of the actual antenna whereas on 20 metres is a bit more broadside. Overall, well, I think if you're going to use one antenna to try and do as much as possible on field day, the 133-foot N-fed half-wave ticks a lot of boxes, and I think it's a great antenna to try. Here's your chance to see where I've used N-fed half-waves in the past and just how well they work. And don't forget to click subscribe too. 7.3, we'll catch you again.